Hello everybody, this is Mr. Benoit for our teen and adult beginner class. We're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Snap your attention, feet together, hands by your side. Show you. Yeah, you say, come up to me da. All right, let's get started with some jumping jacks. Every jumping jack has a clap at the top and a slap at the bottom. Let's do 25. Ready, set, and go. Hala, to, set, ne, pass it, yas it, ugo, yuro, aho, yo, hala. Two, set, ne, toss it, yas it, ugo, yuro, aho, smo, smo hana, to, set, smo ne, smo toss it. Good, down for push ups. 10 super awesome push ups. Take your time and make them your best. Doesn't matter how fast you can get them done. Ready? And go. Hana, to, Set. Ne. Tasset. Yasset. Ugo. Yoro. Aho. Yo. Good. When you're done, stay in push up position. We're going to do mountain climbers next. My eyes are forward. I'm going to bring one knee up at a time and switch my legs back and forth. I can climb your mountain. We're going to do 30 mountain climbers. That means every time you switch counts as one. One, two, three, up to 30. On your marks, get set, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Good. When you're done, have a seat. Legs apart. Reach up as high as you can. And down to one side. Switch, other side. Relax, spread it a little bit farther if you can. Reach up and down to the middle. And relax, pull your feet in for a butterfly stretch, put your feet together, pull them in close, use your elbows to push your knees down, and then bring your chest down even farther towards your feet. And relax, stand back up, arm circles forward, backwards, side to side, Okay, so today we're going to go over a few different hand techniques. If you've been doing our karate fitness classes in the morning, some of the hand techniques, like the hooks and the uppercuts, we don't take a lot of time explaining. So this is a good chance to get those techniques down if you haven't done them previously. So let's start in our fighting stance. Attention, one foot back, hands up. Yeah. All right, so in your fighting stance, you want one foot in front, one foot in back. You want to be light on your feet and you want to be mobile. So I don't want to go too wide in my fighting stance. That's harder to move around quickly. So my feet are mostly 
close together, but obviously not too close together, then we don't have any stability. So one step back, hands up, you're light on your feet, you're ready to go. Let's start with the hook punch. Actually, you know what, rewind. Let's start with our basic punches and warm up with those first. So those are jab and our cross. Jab is the front hand and cross is the back hand. Now try and engage your hips and your body with these punches too, not just your arms. If it's just my arm punching, I don't have a lot of power. So I'm using my hips and my shoulder to snap out that punch with even more power. One and two. Ready? Put that front hand out. Tip. And the other hand, two up. Now I yell when we do our techniques. If you want to yell with us, fantastic. If you're not the yelling kind of person, just make sure you're breathing on these techniques. As long as you're letting air out of your lungs, you're going to get stronger on these techniques. Ready? One hand out. Tia. Other hand, two up. And put it back up. That way you're ready to go. Ready to block anything coming towards you. Double punch, I say go, you yell Tia Tua. Go. 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 Go test with your feet. All right. Now your other hand punches first. It's always the front hand punching first, back hand punching second. Ready? Go. 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 Last one, go. And kill test, switch feet. All right, next up is the hook punch. Now the hook punch especially, we wanna make sure we're using our hips and our body and not so much our arms. Our arms of course are part of the technique, but our body plays a much bigger part. So my arm is gonna be locked out to the side like so. Like our regular punches, we still wanna aim with our big two knuckles right up here. That's the part of our hand we want to make contact with the target. It's the same thing for the hook punch, but I'm coming around for this punch, aiming with those big two knuckles right in front there, okay? So I'm gonna lock my hand out, and then I'm gonna twist my body and hook around. Boom! We can aim hook to the ribs, or we can aim hook to the head. Now there are different styles of hooks. Sometimes we do palm facing down or palm facing slightly out for the head hook. But now I'm gonna keep it simple. It's just gonna be palm facing us the whole time. Either hook to the ribs or hook to the head. Palm facing us, lock it out, and then twist your body. Now it's the same thing on the other hand. Palm facing us, lock it out, and twist your body. Aiming for the ribs or aiming for the head. Okay, let's do both hooks. We're going to aim ribs now. Uh, if you want to mix it up and aim, aim head too, that's okay. We're just going to do the one combo or the one, uh, one level set. Ready? Hook punch. Tip. Other side, two up, and pull them back up, ready, go. We're dropping our hands to throw the technique, but they always have to come up so we're safe afterwards. Ready, hook one, hook two, and back up. I say go, you do both. Go, 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 go. 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 Last one, go. And kill test, switch feet. All right, other side, always punching with your front hand first. Ready, go. 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 Go, go, and kill test, switch feet. All right, next up, we're doing our uppercuts. Our uppercuts, same thing. We're aiming with these big two knuckles, but instead of coming straight ahead, we're coming up and under for this technique. Now, you can aim up to the chin. Oftentimes, we're just going to aim for the body on the uppercuts here. They are coming upward, but make sure they're not going straight upward. Because if I'm going straight up against you here, I'm not actually hitting you. I'm just going up to the ceiling. So I want to go up and forward with my uppercuts this way, okay? Sorry, I don't mean to be too aggressive. I'm not actually trying to punch you. Good thing we got a whole internet between us. All right, so uppercut here. My hand is coming back, down, and then driving upward. Back, down, and driving upward. Let's try it out. 
One hand, uppercut, and the other hand, uppercut. Good, get used to that motion a few times. One hand, and the other. One hand, and the other. Good, now let's go fast, both in a row. One, two, ready? Go! 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 Last one, go! And kill test, switch feet. All right, other hand punches first. Uppercut one, uppercut two. Make sure you're still using your body, not just your arms. Ready? Go. 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 And kill test with your feet. Okay, well done. Take a second and relax, shake it out. Now I'm gonna put those in with some of our different combinations and add in some blocking skills along with them. First set is going to be our jab, cross, hook, upper. Just to review those four skills that we just worked on. Jab, cross, hook, and upper. Jab, cross, hook straight, hook comes around, uppercut is down low. Now, as you guys are doing the combo, I'm gonna hold targets for you. Now, obviously, it's way less fun holding targets for somebody if they can't actually punch them, but this is gonna give you something to focus on. Repeat after me, say, she son. She son means I focus. So when we're doing our techniques, it's very important to focus with our eyes. If I'm trying to look one way and do my tech the other, technique the other way, no way I'm gonna hit my target. So we have to look at what we're doing, that way we can aim correctly. So I'm gonna give you these as Focus, and also to help show you where you're aiming for these techniques. So we're gonna start with the jab cross. It's gonna be jab, cross. Now you should be right leg back fighting stance, and you should be punching across. So I'm holding here, you should be punching with your, actually I should be holding the other side first. I'm holding here, you're punching with your left hand first, that's your front hand on this side, aiming towards the target here. So it goes slightly across my body like so, okay? So it's going to be the jab, the cross, the hook, and the uppercut. Did I do that backwards? No, that was good. Jab, cross, hook, and uppercut. Now, here's the fun part. If you have somebody to do these techniques with, and if you have some targets, you're more than welcome to get with a partner and work that way. Either the professional targets, you can buy these all over the place on different uh, karate supplier, martial arts supplier websites. You can also just use a pillow. Um, for adults, I definitely recommend, and teenagers, I should say. For the kids, I'm not too worried, but for adults and teenagers, you guys can actually punch pretty hard. So do be careful. If somebody's holding a pillow for you, that you're actually hitting the pillow and not their hands or them by mistake, right? But they can still hold a pillow out like this. Punch, punch, hook, upper, right? If they lose the grip, oh, well, we got to pick it up again, so... Um, especially with teens and adults, the pillow doesn't work as well as with kids since you guys are probably punching a lot harder, but it should work just fine if you want to do this with a partner, okay? Okay, that's enough talking. Let's do some punching. Fighting hands, hands up. Ready? Jab. Cross. Hook. Upper. Great, hopefully that's not too fast. Try and keep up. Ready? Jab. Cross. Hook. Upper. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Last one. One, two, three, four. And kill test with your feet. Ready? Other side now. One. Two, three, four. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut. 
jab, cross, hook, upper. Good, going a little bit faster now. Jab, cross, hook, upper. One, two, three, four. Nice. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Jab, cross, hook, upper. And time, well done. Kyote, switch your feet back over. All right, if you're working with a partner, make sure you thank them. So come to attention. We always say, come up, sumina. We thank them for working with us. We thank them for being a good partner. Next combination. Now I'm gonna throw in some of those blocks I talked about. So from here, it's going to be inside to outside block. Punch with the backhand. Hook with the other hand and finish with the front kick. Inside the outside block. Cross, that's straight ahead. Hook, and front kick. Block, punch, hook, and kick. All right, here's how it's gonna look on the targets. Fighting stance, hands up, right leg back to start. Cross, oh wait, sorry, we're starting inside outside block. Inside outside block, boom, cross, Hook and front kick. Again, inside outside block, cross, hook, and front kick. Excellent, there we go. Now, if you're holding targets for somebody, especially with your kicks, make sure you set the target where they'd like to kick. If somebody's holding the target way down here, that's gonna bother me, I don't like kick down there. If somebody's holding the target way up here for me, I'm not gonna be able to reach that. So set the target where your partner likes to kick. Here we go. Block, cross, hook, kick. Okay, let's start a little bit slow actually. Ready? Block, cross, hook, kick. Okay, that was too slow. Let's try to find something in the middle. Ready? Block, cross, hook, and kick. Block. Cross, hook, and kick. Block, cross, hook, and kick. Good, one more this side. Block, cross, hook, and kick. Good, Kyote, switch your feet, other side now. Ready, blocking on this side. Crossing with your backhand. Hooking with your front hand, and then front kicking with that back left. We should be left foot back now. Ready? Block, cross, hook, kick. Nice. Block, cross, hook, kick. Hopefully we're gonna hang it. Should get a little bit easier as we go along. Block, cross, hook, kick. Block, cross, hook, kick. Looking good. Block, cross, hook, kick. Block, cross, hook, kick. Good, last one. Block, cross, hook, kick. Excellent job, and time. Can you bow to your partner if you're working with somebody? Okay. Let's see. Okay, next combination. Let me put these down. Next combination. We're starting with the high block, uppercut, back leg front kick, put all the way back, and same leg round kick. Again, high block to start comes up above our head. Uppercut with the other hand, front kick, put it back, and Roundhouse kick, remember the round kick comes up and around. Block, upper, front, and round kick. Great, so now on the targets. Right leg back, blocking with your left arm. High block, uppercut, front kick, and round kick. Again, high block, Uppercut, front kick, and round kick. 
Okay, I think we got it. Going a little bit faster now. Ready? Block. Upper. Front kick. Round kick. Block. Upper. Front kick. Round kick. Block. Upper. Front kick. And round kick. Block. Upper. Front kick. Round kick. Block, upper, front kick, round kick. Good, last set. Block, upper, front kick, round kick. Axing, kyote, switch your feet. Now your left foot is back. Ready? Block, uppercut, front kick with your left foot, put it back, and round kick with your left foot. Great, gotta make sure I get the targets right. Ready? High block, uppercut, front kick, round kick. Nice to die. Block, upper, front kick, round kick. Block, upper, front kick, round kick. Block, upper, front kick, round kick. Last set, block, upper. Front kick, round kick. Well done. And Kyote, switch your feet back the other way. Looking good so far, everybody. One more combination. We're going to put our techniques together. Again, use your she sun, eye focus. Make sure you're focusing on your target, whether it's the targets I'm holding up, the targets you're punching and kicking somebody else is holding. Make sure you use your eyes where your techniques are going. Okay, next combination. We're doing low block with one hand. Inside to outside block with the other hand. Hook with the other hand. Uppercut with the other hand. And then finish roundhouse kick with our back left. Got all that? Low block. Inside outside block. Hook. Upper. Round kick. One. Oh, sorry, let me try that again. Low block. One. Inside outside two. Hook three. Upper four, round kick, five. Okay, let's do it on the targets. Here we go. Start with right leg back. Low block. You know what? I'm going to kick for that technique. Low block. Inside, outside block. Let's see if I get this right. Hook punch. And uppercut. And round kick. There we go. It's hard for me too, since I can't actually see you here. Okay, here we go. Low block, inside to block, hook punch, uppercut, and round kick. Nice. Low block, inside to block, hook punch, upper pu uppercut, and roundhouse kick. Good, going a little bit faster now. Block, block. Hook, upper, round kick. Well done. Block, block, hook, upper, round kick. Block, block, hook, upper, round kick. Nice. Block, block, hook, upper, Round kick. Last one, going fast this time. Block, block, hook, upper, round kick. Well done, kyote, switch your feet. Okay, other side now. Starting low block, inside outside block, other hand, hook punch, other hand, uppercut, other hand, and finish roundhouse kick with that back leg. Should be left leg back fighting stance now. Ready? Low block. Inside outside block. Hook punch, uppercut, and round kick. Block, block, hook, upper, round kick. Block, block, hook, upper, round kick. 
Block, block, hook, upper, round kick. Nice. Block, block, hook, upper, round kick. Good, last one, fast. Block, block, hook, upper, and round kick. Well done. Kanya, bow to your partner, you thank them, say, come up, sumida. Excellent work. Let's face here, shall we up? Kanya, we say, come up, sumida. Okay, well done. Thank you for joining me today. We always start our class with Come Up Sumida. We always end our class with Come Up Sumida. We try to be very respectful here. I hope you guys thank me for teaching you guys these skills. I'm thanking you guys for working out, trying hard, and learn something new with me today. Okay? Hopefully, if these are new skills for you, even if you're having trouble, you're still trying your best. It is always okay to make mistakes. It's always okay to fall down. It's always okay to fail. As long as you get back up and you try again, you'll get real good at this stuff. Or at least it'll be something to keep you moving and have some fun while you're stuck in quarantine, okay? Or maybe this is a few months later, quarantine has ended, you guys are free to go wherever you want, and you're here doing cry with me. Whatever makes you happy, I hope you guys are working hard and having fun. Right hand up. I say hana tol set, we yell tongue su. Hana tol set, tongue su. Class dismissed.